Well, really, I'm from a deaf family. I'm a fourth generation deaf family. My niece and nephew of fifth generation. So my first language is sign language, and which is a physical language. And that's really how I established my connections with dance, which is a physical form. The word dance is just another word. But what it means for me is freedom to communicate with our bodies and freedom to be playful and how we communicate with our own bodies. And that's a very natural process for me. And, that, and, the, and this is the first way I communicated with my family in a physical language. Of course, communicating through a body language is, is the primary thing, but it's we're a bit more, obviously it's a bit more clear, it's more visual because of the physicality of sign language. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think in the world in which we live today, I think our voices have a lot of power. There's a lot of political undercurrents to spoken language. Um, we're not trying to investigate because we, we take those things for granted. But I think there are many different ways in which we communicate as human beings. And also, there is something very deep-rooted in that. In Greek philosophy, and a lot, a lot of it is about control, and a lot of it is also about distance. And I think the deaf experience is a very powerful, powerful way of examining those things. I don't think it's just about deaf people. I think it's about humanness and the ways in which we communicate together by formal language. Um, and I think that that is what makes us human. I think it's important to examine what happens within that and what does that mean and then build upon that. I definitely think it does. I think it's really wonderful. I've visited Italy several times before, particularly in the southern regions of Italy. I visited Milan, Florence, the big cities. But Rovereto is a, a smaller town and has German influence, Austrian influence. Uh, my grandmother herself is an Austrian woman and she grew up in the Alps. So there's a lot of sort of feeling and connection with this territory. It's something I can't really explain, but there's something that has changed within this project as, as it has developed. I always think that the only thing people really have is landscape and emotion and everything else is essentially arbitrary. So the people and the landscapes, we have strong connections on a, on a deep emotional level. And we have, as human beings, we have, have our own internal landscape. And we also have strong connections with our external landscape in which we live. 
So we have that exterior and internal connection and emotional connection with both our internal feelings and the outside world. And I think in this town, we can see we are surrounded by the Alps everywhere in Rovereto. And it's something that cannot be avoided. Again, I, I can't say specifically what the territory has influenced. I can't explain that very directly, but there is some, some links there and an influence within the team. I think we've established very strong connections already. And I think the landscape and the people which live in, that, in this town, we have very strong connections together. I think really when when a group is oppressed, sometimes it makes things more obvious. So I think it can make you more human in that respect. And it can make some things more evident. Some people choose to suppress certain things that can be quite painful but can be quite beautiful. I think the deaf experience is really about communication and it's not just about sound. I think a lot of hearing people's views of how de deaf people's sort of suffering if you like is linked to not being able to access sound. So that's where this the suffering is seen from the hearing perspective. So that was the central obviously, part of my life from, from the moment I was born, signed communication. My family had many of their own stories and sharing of experiences. And it's something that was very much a part of my upbringing and also part of my work too. Quite funny because the word art is really quite a simplistic word but I think when that con when conversations happen about art with deaf people I can't remember who the person was but they said that the right sign for art is this and I think that is a perfect interpretation of what art means for me and when people see that it's a sharing of something, something that can be captured, and, and I think that's the possibilities of art are very free, and I feel very strong about that particular sign. The written word art might have strong links with the arts world and, and arts industry 
as well, but it's really just another system. But for me, I think it's really beautiful when we make something through the system and that can become a very powerful thing.